Hey, this is Jason from Father Mars. I just wanted to sit down with you guys today uh, to share my rig. I've been using this uh, 2019 SG standard, uh, the, the 61 version, because I like the uh, smaller pick guard. Uh, and I've kept it stock. It's awesome. No need to, I usually change out my pickups. I usually uh, I like bare knuckle pickups. But the stock pickups in this sound rad. They're a PAF style pickup, but a later PAF, so a 61 version, you know, the year that the SG first, uh, you know, entered production. And uh, they just sound really, really beefy, but there's a lot of clarity to them. So, that, you know, they sound nice. Uh, and everything else I've kept stock as well. Can't really beat it as it uh, as it came. And then my other guitar here is this Les Paul Studio from around 2004. I got it that year. I've modded it a little bit aesthetically and also uh, tonally. So I, I put a Les Paul custom pick guard on it to make it a little bit more classy and, and sexy looking. And then in terms of tone, I have a Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck and a uh, and then that bare knuckle uh, mule in the bridge, which is a, I believe an Alnico 4 style pickup. With this type of music, you know, it's, it's chiefly fuzz that comes into play for a lot of these tunes. Um, so I've got a few different fuzzes on my board. Um, might seem like overkill, but they all have their own unique voicings and do their own kind of thing. So I've got two Earthquaker devices fuzz, and I love them. I've got the hoof. It's based on the uh, the Russian uh, Big Muff. Next up is the Black Ash fuzz by Earthquaker Devices, and this one is based on a tone bender. So it's got you know a little bit of sag spitting to it that I like. Uh, it's it's definitely a different voicing than the hoof. And I just use these two interchangeably. I don't really necessarily pick one for any particular song. It's more just how I'm feeling and what I want to hear at any given point in time. Obviously they've got a lot of uh, doom in them. Next up in the way of fuzz is this fuzz bender uh, by Keeley, which is also based on a tone bender. But this, you know, this is kind of more, a little bit more experimental. But I'll turn it on sometimes if I want to get a really splatty, velcro-y, spitty kind of solo lead tone going, because it has a bias knob on it. You can adjust the bias and get it to sound really gated, like a, you know, like the old dying battery in the fuzz kind of vibe. Next up is the, uh, the Echo Rec uh, by Catlin Bread. So this is what I use for delay. And I do, you know, I plug all my delays and, and reverbs into the front of the amp. This amp actually does have an effects loop, but I, you know, I haven't gotten into using it. Maybe at some point I will, but I don't really mind how it sounds. It may sound a little bit more muddy, and, you know, but that's kind of the style of music it is, so it doesn't bother me. Finally, I have the uh, Ghost Echo, by, also by Earthquaker Devices, and that's the, my reverb of choice. It's kind of based on a, on a spring reverb, but it's got a little bit different voicing than a spring reverb. It's not, you know, it's not your classic sp spring reverb, but it just, it's reminiscent of it. For my amp, I just have this glorious orange rocker 30 that I got not too long ago. You turn it on and there's really no place that you can set it to that sounds bad, uh, but I typically like to keep it on kind of like a, you know, like a moderate amount of crunch um, and with the, the master volume turned up as far as possible. Uh, and then I'll supplement the, uh, you know, the kind of moderately driven tone from the amp with the fuzz pedals. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, a lot of cool stuff, you know, I mean, tone partially comes from the fingers, but it doesn't hurt to have great gear too.